New economic data found that stubborn inflation continues to put pressure on the U.S. economy, despite the Federal Reserve's efforts to cool it down. A key indicator out today shows prices rose more than expected in April, which could lead to more interest rate hikes next month. Consumer prices rose by 0.8 percent last month. That is a jump from March, which showed a 0.1 percent rise over February. Now, the numbers are far lower than they were a year ago, but they're not yet where the Federal Reserve would like them to be to safely avoid recession. That is something that the German government is now dealing with after new data shows their economy has officially entered a recession. Let's bring in Paul Hannon. He's a business and finance reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Okay, Paul, the German government has been up until now optimistic about their economy after a kind of mild winter eased energy prices. So where do we think we stand and, and what's behind the contraction of the German economy? Okay, well, this is, uh, this is a kind of snatching defeat for the jaws of victory story because if you went back to, to last summer um, in the months after Russia invaded Ukraine, the German economy looked very, very likely to enter a recession over the winter months. It's very reliant on natural gas imports from Russia for heating, for running its factories. Um, so most economists expect expected to see uh, a contraction at the end of last year and the start of this year. But then we had a run of, of data that suggested that wasn't going to happen, that in fact, Germany was going to, to have a miraculous escape and sort of defy economic gravity. Uh, until yesterday, when the German statistics agency released these figures that showed uh, the German economy contracted very slightly in the first three months of, of this year, having contracted a little bit more at the end of last year. Um, so here we are with, in Europe, you know, what's considered to be a technical recession. It wouldn't be considered to be a recession necessarily in, in the US, where they, you know, we put more stress on, on the jobs market. Um, but the outlook is not great. It, it does not look as if Germany is going to suddenly band back into strong growth. Well, will Germany's recession have a ripple effect on other European nations and maybe even the United States? I mean, it's a big part of the European economy. It's, it's about a quarter of the whole of, of the European Union's output. Um, so, and it's the world's fourth largest economy, but, but it does you know, trail the others by some distance. Um, Yes, I, I, I guess it could have an impact on the U.S. in the sense that, you know, it's a, a significant enough export market for some U.S. Uh, businesses, and it won't help if, if you know, that kind of market is in contraction and demand is falling. But I, I don't think it's, you know, important enough to the U.S. economy to be the thing that pushes the U.S. into recession. All right, we'll continue to watch it. Paul Hannon, Paul, thanks very much.